again, this video is part of a series. There should be a link in the description to the full playlist. Uh, be sure to check that out. And uh, as always, we're picking up where we left off. We're using Scratch here. And we have our bat that flies around following our mouse cursor. I'm gonna click this stop sign to stop that for now. Um, but that's our sprite, but we can also set our stage here. And a stage or your background, it's, it's like different levels for a game or you can make the backgrounds look different. And you can have more than one, but we're gonna start off with this blank one. With it selected, go to backdrops. And here, you can draw your own background if you wanted. Uh, using these simple tools, green grass there and a blue sky. And I can say yellow and draw a sun. Not a great sun, but a sun. And I can fill that in. So now I've got a background for my bat to fly around in. So very simply, you can draw your own here. You also have options to take a picture upload an image, uh, paint your own as we just did, or choose from some that Scratch already has built. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, why don't we have our bat fly around on the moon. Click the moon, click OK, and now we have the moon and our bat's flying around. <clears throat> so that's changing the background on how it looks, but stages are also their own elements. So you can also have um, the backgrounds of the stage. So I kind of said it wrong earlier. Your stage has things such as backgrounds and there can be multiple backgrounds in one stage. As we have here, we have the one we drew and the moon. And we can switch between them just as we're switching between the bats uh, images here. The level can also have its own sound. So when we create a sound earlier, uh, when we had in the previous video clicking the, the cat and it made a meow sound, that was linked to that particular sprite. But you can also have certain things linked to the stage. For example, if you wanted to have music play when a certain stage is loaded, but you still have the same player, you, you link the, the music to the stage, not the player. And um, I'm trying to think of what else I want to talk about stages here. So yeah, we can write our own little script here. So we can go to looks for this as well. And we can say next backdrop and we can say events when the game is started. So again, if I click our bat here, this here is our, our blocks for our bat. You can see the picture of the bat up here. But if I pick the stage, it's gonna show the code for the stage. They're separate elements. So now if I click start, you can see every time I click start, the background changes. So if you want to have the bat flying in the moon, on the moon, you can fly on the moon. If you have him flying out in this field, you can fly out in the field. And that's it. That's it for this video. <laughs> well, it was kind of a short one, um, but we're building on stuff here. And uh, I do hope you're enjoying it. So far, you know, you've made enough to create a, a very basic game of moving a character around, uh, having it play different sounds, different animations, different backgrounds. Uh, but now, in the next video, we're going to create a second sprite that will interact with our, our main character here. So I do thank you for watching. As always, visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. And uh, again, be sure to check out all the videos in this playlist. There's a link in the description to the playlist. I do thank you for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.